friends, it's Kelly aka Femme Fatale Airsoft and welcome back to another video. So in this one we're going to answer the age old airsoft question, what gun should I get as a beginner? And we'll be looking at five budget friendly beginner airsoft guns that have great out of the box performance and that can be easily upgraded further down the line and that cater to different budgets. For your first couple of games I really do recommend you renting from a site or borrowing from friends just so you don't spend hundreds on an airsoft gun only to find out that you actually really don't enjoy airsoft. Renting equipment from a site is also a great way to get started as you'll be given a full rundown on how they work and how to use them. The Newport Delta Pioneer Defender is a super lightweight and sturdy airsoft M4 that has been mainly constructed from a polymer with some metal components. It features a metal flash hider and a quad handguard with numerous 20mm riz rails for customization. The rifle also has an ergonomic pistol grip, an ambidextrous sling plate and a six point position adjustable crane stock with a roomy battery compartment. Internally, the rifle boasts a reinforced version two gearbox, a full steel tooth piston, a high torque flat motor, and a micro switch trigger for improved performance. It has an adjustable hop up unit two and a 6.03 inner barrel for enhanced accuracy and range. The quick change spring system that it has allows for easy FPS adjustments with no tools. Though lightweight, the polymer construction gives it a little bit of a less premium feel compared to full metal AEGs, but it remains solid with no wobbles or rattles and it retails for $139.99. Another popular choice for starters and commonly used in airsoft fleets, the CM16 Raider AG from G&G is a really lightweight and durable airsoft rifle with a polymer receiver, rail and grip, along with an alloy outer barrel, sling plate and stock tube. It features a birdcage style flash hider, fixed front post iron sight and a 20mm riz rail system for accessories. The full length top rail accommodates red dot sights and the removable rear iron sight adds versatility to the rifle. The six point adjustable crane stock serves as a battery storage area that's quite roomy. Internally this AG has a version 2 rear wide gearbox, 8mm brass gear brushings and an adjustable hop up unit. The replica feels high quality and well constructed and which is typical of G&G's reputation and the retail price is $189.99. The Spessner Arms AEG SA C04 features a receiver, stock and pistol grip that are all made from a tough fiberglass reinforced polymer while the barrel, riz handguard, flash hider, charging handle and the sling points are all made of an alloy giving it a really sturdy build. The internal features 8mm slide bearings, shim steel gears, 4 anti-reversal latches and a polycarbonate polymer piston with a steel strip, type 1 cylinder and a precise rotary style hop up chamber. The core quick change spring system allows for easy FPS adjustments without any special tools. Aesthetically it resembles a classic M4 with a 22mm top riz rail, flip up rear iron sight and a fixed front sight. The receiver bears really cool markings and a serial number. Priced at €154, Euros, it's an excellent option for new players due to its affordability, completeness and durability. The KOE4 AEG is a well-developed M4 style rifle by KWA. Competing with its sister AEG, the Ronin T6, this weighs in at 4.6 pounds, so it's an entire pound lighter than the T6, but it still shares the same great internals. The rifle features a KWA two-port muzzle brake and a core 4 M-lock rail for attachments. It has a high strength polymer upper and lower receiver and it also features the standard M4 controls. The side charging handle allows for easy hop up adjustment and the true PW style stock just adds to the appeal. Internally it has the AEG 2.5 gearbox, a KWA high torque motor, adjustable hop up and electronic trigger compatibility. The variable performance system or VPS for short allows FPS adjustment using the included tool. Battery insertion might take a little bit longer with this AG just because the stock's more size, but it's manageable and it retails for $239.90. Next up, we have the AR-15 Long M-Lock Alpha from Delta Army. It's a robust and realistic rifle from Delta's latest generation of AR-15 M4 rifles. It has a full metal construction, including the handguard, body, trigger and outer barrel, and this provides it with a solid feel. The rifle features a 13 inch lightweight M-Lock handguard with front and body rails for customization. The CNC Type A trigger enhances the shooting experience and the six point stock allows easy battery installation. Internally, the rifle boasts quality components such as an SHS piston, a delayer chip, a quick change spring system, a QRS motor, a rotary style hop up chamber and a 6.03 millimeter inner barrel. The UK retail price for this is 264.95. So it is the most expensive rifle on the list but it is a really good and well-rounded rifle for CQB, urban 
and Woodland. Thank you guys and gals for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, leave me a comment, leave me a like, share and do all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one.